Hi, I'm Mike with the Hardwood Artisans, and I'm about to demonstrate on how to assemble a panel bed. Um, let me explain the parts to you real quick. You have two sides. You have the bed. You have uh, the ceiling that's right there. You have the footboard, which is right here, and you have the headboard. You start by laying the bed, the panel, face down on the floor and connecting the sides. The way you want to connect the sides is you'll see a hole right here, metal plate with a hole in it. You run this shaft that's on the side through that hole. Like so. And the way that stays connected is with this E-clip, which is right here. You'll see a little groove in the shaft there, and you slide that E-clip right on that as such. Do you get a good shot of that, Sergio? Okay. That, that has the side connected. The other side is already connected, but once both sides are connected, you mount the strut. You notice the strut will say, mount this end up. That's the arrow going to the ceiling. All you do is pop it in, make sure the arrow is going to the ceiling, and pop this in. Sometimes, if it don't quite line up, you uh, lift the side up or down a little bit, and then tap it in. That's how you mount the side, and you mount your strut. Okay, this is how you fasten the roof to the sides. See these machine screws right here. You'll see holes in the roof and a T-nut that's on the side. Just run these screws in and tighten it up. You have three here and three here. That's what holds the roof on. The headboard is mounted the exact same way. You have two on each side. Once you have that fastened to the sides, you want to do your wiring. What you do is you run the roof wire, the lights, down this dado on the side. Down here, run it out behind the headboard and plug it in to the dimmer switch. And the dimmer switch, you run out on the opposite side, down here, and out the bottom. If you can come on over here. Okay, now I'm going to show you how the mercury switch gets mounted. Now you know that the headboard, um, that the dimmer switch, gets plugged into the mercury switch. Then the other end of the mercury switch gets plugged in to the wall. And you mount this right down here on the bottom of the bed. And when you mount it, make sure this weld spot is up. The weld spot is up. Then you just mount it right here, with the weld spot up, And that's it. Okay, now we're getting ready to fasten the footboard on. And this is done with these clips on the bottom. You can see 
these clips on the front of each side, right here, it's like a horseshoe going like this, and that's what these screw heads slide on. What you do is you tip the cabinet back while another person slides that on and lifts up. Then once it's on, you just let it drop and it locks in place automatically. Now that the footboard is mounted to the front of the cabinet, you want to slide the panel bed up against the wall in the location desired. Once it's up against the wall, you want to get a ladder, get up on top, use a stud finder, you can purchase it at any hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, and uh, find two studs across the roof of this panel bed. When you find two studs, you want to take your L bracket, set it up against the wall and on top of the roof, run the short screws into the roof, the long screws into the studs. Each L bracket has two holes, so you want to put four screws in this. Two short ones into the roof, two long ones into the studs. Before you mount it, you want to make sure that this gap is even on both sides. So once you find your stud and you have it screwed into the wall, before you screw it into the roof, move the cabinet right or left to make sure this gap is even. And make sure the cabinet is pushed up against the wall. Now if you get any wall units that uh, go beside this, the way you connect the wall unit to the panel bed is with this U-bracket. You take the U-bracket on one side, screw it in, and then on the other side, you screw one side in like so, then the other side you just snug up like so. And that will draw the top of the wall unit to the side of the panel bed. That's only if you have wall units. And if you have more than one wall unit, you can connect, connect the wall units together this way too. Once it's fastened to the wall, you can pull this down. Put your mattress in, put the strap over the mattress at the foot. Make sure your dimmer switch is working right. And make sure the lights go out when you raise the bed. I mentioned it once and I'll mention it again. If the lights stay on with the bed in the up position, please unplug the lights call us and we'll figure out the problem. It's a fire hazard if you ever leave these lights on with the bed up because the lights are literally that close to the mattress. Um, and that pretty much covers a panel bed assembly. If you uh, have any questions or any problems uh, on assembly, please feel free to call us at the Woodbridge shop and uh, we'll, be, we'll be glad to walk you through any problem. Um, but, but that's it for panel bed assembly.